Greetings to you, friends and brethren around the world. Over the last few decades, there has been a rapid growth of technology and worldwide communication with cell or mobile phones, with computers, and now the ultimate evil, artificial intelligence, or AI, as it is known. This rapid growth has broken down political, economic, and language barriers between nations. The world as we once knew it has become one big global village. This global village was dominated by the English-speaking peoples of the world. English became the universal language. Today, you can travel anywhere and you will find someone who speaks English. In addition to that, an entirely new language has arisen and is now claiming dominance. That language is the language of computers. It is the common language of industry, of science, of education. And with the emergence of artificial intelligence, or AI, the world is getting set for even more of the Babylonish society, as it was at the beginning of human history with the Tower of Babel. A common language has began, once again united humanity. Over 4,000 years ago, when the whole earth spoke one language, they rebelled against God at the Tower of Babel. They rejected God and His authority, as in our world today, exactly the same. Back then, they had advanced scientific knowledge and were capable of doing anything they imagined to do. Notice God says so in Genesis 11 and verse 5. And the Lord God came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have one language, and this they begin to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. The world has become like the Tower of Babel once again becoming one. We are being globalized. Yes, globalized. People of the world are coming together in one grand monolithic civilization. And as this globalization of the world continues, the sovereignty of nations is giving away to regional alliances. And their aim, their aim is the destruction of the United States and Britain. Turn to Psalm 83, and we'll read from verse 2. The psalmist is talking to God and says, For lo, your enemies make a tumult, and they hate you and lift up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against your people, and counsel against your hidden ones. And they have said, Come, let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. The name of America and Britain. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against you. This confederate of nations or alliances, such as Saudi Arabia, Iran, Russia, and China, and of course there's the economic alliance with the euphemism BRICS, a combination of Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, and of course recently, Bangladesh, Egypt, the United Arab Emirates, and Uruguay have added, have been added as new members of BRICS, new members of their development bank. And of course, there's the European Union and, and NATO. The week of May the 8th, the Russians docked in a South African naval base called Simonstown. The U.S. noted this and was upset by this. President Putin of Russia is to visit South Africa in August for a BRICS conference. We have entered the age, brethren, of expose and the cancel culture. Yes, they want to cancel everything. These are the tentacles of evil and corruption and have left few untouched. Yet among the evil of nations around the world, the worst of them are America and Britain. Why? because they claim to believe and trust in the great God, the almighty living God. Here is a message to these two nations from that God they trust in, in Isaiah 59 and verse 1. 
Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither is ear heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, and he will not hear. For your hands are defiled with blood, and your fingers with iniquity, and your lips have spoken lies. Your tongue has muttered perverseness. These countries, America and Britain, corrupt from the top down. There's corruption in government, and among their people, there's murder, rape, adultery, lying, and perversion. Isaiah 59 verse 4. None calls for justice, nor any pleads for truth. They trust in emptiness, in vanity, and speak lies. They conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity. Yes, they bring forth wickedness and evil. Verse 7, their feet run to evil, and they make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity, of, a, of wickedness, and wasting and destruction are in their paths. You see it in the riots and the protests. The way of peace they know not, and there's no judgment in their goings. They have made them crooked paths, and whosoever goes therein shall not know peace. Then many of them acknowledge their evil and their corruption. Notice verse 9. Therefore is judgment far from us. Neither does justice overtake us. We wait for light and behold obscurity, for brightness. But we walk in darkness. We grope for the wall like blind and we grope as if we had no eyes. We stumble at noonday as in the night. And we, are des and we are in desolate places as dead men. We roar all like bears and mourn like soar like doves. We look for judgment, but there's none. For salvation, but it's far off from us. For our transgressions are multiplied before you, and our sins testify against us. For our transgressions are with us, and as for our iniquities, we know them. Yes, we know them in transgressing and lying against the Lord God and departing from our God, speaking oppression and revolt and conceiving and uttering from the heart words of falsehood. The fact that they acknowledge and accept that they are sinning, they do not repent. They do not change their ways, nor do they turn back to God. Notice Leviticus 26 verse 25. And I will bring a sword upon you that shall avenge the quarrel of my covenant. And when you are gathered together within your cities, I will send the pestilence among you, and you shall be delivered into the hand of your enemy. And when I have broken the staff of your bread, ten women shall bake your bread in one oven, and they shall deliver you your bread again by weight, and you shall eat and not be satisfied. And if you will not for all this listen unto me, but walk contrary unto me, then I will walk contrary unto you also in fury. And I, even I, will chastise you seven times for your sins. And Jesus Christ warned in Matthew 24, 21, For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved alive. But, but, Christ says, for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Those days shall be shortened for the elect. Unless there's a massive turning back to God, a terrible time of trouble is on the horizon for every human being. Yes, on this God-forsaken earth. Yet even with all this evil, there is a silver lining. God tells us in Jeremiah 18 verse 6, O house of Israel, America, and Britain, cannot I do with you as the potter, says the Lord? Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand, O house of Israel. At what instant I shall speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom to pluck it up and to pull it down and to destroy it? If that nation against whom I pronounce turn from their evil, I will repent of the evil that I thought to do unto you or unto them. Yes, if we repent and turn to God of the Bible, the real God, the true God, He will take care of us. Deuteronomy 30 verse 19. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, 
that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life, that both you and your children may live, that you may love the Lord your God, and that you may obey His voice, and that you may cleave unto Him, for He is your life and the length of your days, that you may dwell in the land which the Lord swore unto your fathers to give to you and to give to them. My dear friends and dear brethren, you are hearing the voice today right out of the, of, of the Word of God, the Bible. Now, for more information about this work of Christ, please go to our website, thevigilantcog.com uh, or vigilantcog.com. So this is Michael Venish for the Veteran Church of God saying, Turn, brethren, turn back to God. Goodbye, friends, and goodbye, brethren.